Okay, YouTube online. This will be interesting. So I'm going to learn. Still sending on Twitch, so I'll see. Okay, it's online on Twitch as well. Um, so I'm going to see if this is, this is a good learning experience. I'm going to see if I can go back and edit the stream since I'm sure that that YouTube video is going to be me talking and no audio because I'm a dumb dumb and didn't check the microphone. But anyway, so what I was saying, uh, this is an image that I drew, uh, I don't know, two weeks ago or three weeks ago or something like that. I put it on a t-shirt. I put it on a sticker mule t-shirt because I wanted to see the quality of sticker mule t-shirts. And I wanted to see if I have the same problem that I have with Redbubble. So, what's up? What's up, Cuckoo? Cuckoo? Cuckoo! And welcome back, Linda, I think, if you're back. You're probably not back yet, my producer. Um, so the problem with Redbubble... Let me get this in focus. So the problem with Redbubble, I got these, I, I made these shirts about, uh, I don't know, a month or two ago, and finally got the shirts, and uh, that's this is one problem that I have with print-on-demand services. You can make great stuff in Photoshop, Procreate, you can make your artwork and make it a good enough resolution, but the printing process sometimes has, I think they print them so fast that sometimes it doesn't line up, so they always put a white base and, and the letters are supposed to match up perfectly to that. But as you can see here, there's like a white, it's like a little white uh, uh, stroke kind of coming out the side, like a little white uh, drop shadow type thing. And, you know, on a dark shirt with this red, like I don't want like the white showing. You can see it really good here too. Um, like this white drop shadow. Wish I could get even closer but it probably won't be in focus um so i don't like that and especially you can see it down here it's really bad towards the bottom you can see that like white drop shadow and i don't want that um so i wrote them about it here's another shirt that i made and this one actually the bottom printed really really bad like it just like got really blurry and really muddy and like it's actually this is as clear as it goes. It just looks blurry because the printing is kind of like, has like a degrades. And then you can see like this white softness from all the letters. This actually looks pretty good because it's yellow, so you can't really see it. But then once you get to a color, like this red is not supposed to have that white line around it. So, what's up Starlight? My fiance, almost a wife. Um, yeah, we're looking forward to Christmas. She's, act she's actually in Massachusetts, so she's home, um, enjoying Christmas with her family. Our families are a little far apart for Christmas, so, um, you know, it's been a little hard to kind of, like, sometimes we go back and forth, but, uh, it's, sometimes it's a little hard to be together on Christmas especially. Um, and also, like, it costs her, like, t over 200 bucks to, to go home. So, um... The axolotl, oh, this face ID is going to be the death of me. So this is, uh, so that's the image that I drew. And I wanted to try out Sticker Mule. They had $9 shirts you can get stuff printed. So I think I got, I just got the small. I don't think I got a big one. Um, but I just wanted to see how the quality was. And if it runs into that same issue or not. Wash inside out. Oh. Wash inside out. Sticker mule. Let's put it so you can see it. Oh, there's another little sticker here. This little guy. Left up tweet. So I think it's got a random standard XL shirt. And the quality actually looks pretty good. It's a little light, 
some some spots. I've got an extra large. I think I just got it on the left hand side. Hard for me to see. Let me see the size. Extra larges always look pretty big, but then I wash them and then they fit perfectly. Also, I like in my old age, I like looser fitting shirts. So let's take a look at this. I probably should have got, I mean, if I do this again, I'll get a darker color. Like I'll get the same thing that I got on Redbubble. Um, and also what I said before in the other video, let me make sure I try to get this as clear as possible. As I said in the other video, oh, it's still a bit bright. As I said in the other video, um, the uh, when I when I when I sent them an email about the sweatshirts, uh, they did make it right. I was able to like get another sweatshirt, which I haven't yet. But the person said, oh, you know, I checked the art file and it, it was the res the resolution was not great. And the resolution was good. I think it was, I made it in Photoshop. It's just letters. It was 4,000 by 4,000 pixels, 300 DPI. Um, it was, a, it's a printing error. It's just the printer was going too fast. It wasn't aligned. It just printed off. So that kind of annoyed me that they said that they checked the file. I don't know if they probably didn't realize that I'm the artist. So like, I know what I did. I know the resolution was fine. So that was annoyed when I got that back instead of just saying like, oh, it was a printer issue because it was a printer issue. So that was annoying. This actually looks pretty good. I don't see any, I don't see any white behind it um, at all, uh, which is nice. I thought that I made this, I thought that the black should have been um, trans, like just negative space. But I guess, I, don't, I can't tell if they filled it or if I just did that in the art. I can't remember if I left the art. Ugh. God. Not that everyone hasn't seen my code yet. Oh, I can't even check here. But anyway, um... But yeah, so that's the axolotl. And... And that's the shirt. And it actually looks really good. I think I will, I'll definitely use Sticker Mule when they have some sales. I'll definitely get some more shirts from them. The shirt actually feels pretty good. It feels just a regular standard shirt. The extra large is quite big. It doesn't stink. Redbubble shirt, uh, stuff also stinks when you first get it. So I'd say I'm pretty happy with it. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, yeah. Yeah, the, axol the axolotl looks... Uh, I think he looks cute. But, um, yeah, I think I'm going to go get some food now. And, uh, yeah, I agree. I was, I was kind of... I was really annoyed when I got the email talking about the quality of it. I'm like, the quality is fine. Like, this is a printing issue. Don't play games. Um, I didn't appreciate it. So I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to use... Um, so T Public actually has a lot of sales, and I have a lot of stuff there. But um, uh, sometimes they have print quality issue. But when they do, I I write them, and then they they send me the same thing again. They they'll reprint it for me, and nine times out of ten, it look it looks really good. So I like that about T Public. Um, I don't know. Uh, Redbubble has other cool things like that. These other places don't have, but that kind of rubbed me the wrong way. And as far as, uh, as far as sticker mule, they have great stickers and the shirts are actually pretty cool. So I might have to get, I might get one of the same shirts that I've done in Redbubble so I can do a direct comparison. And, uh, I think that'll be the next thing, next thing that I do, but I'm going to go get some food because it's already 2.30 and I had to go get my, um, I had to go get my, let's do this here. Uh. Let's do this. Ooh, there's Omi. My room's a mess. Now I have all these shirts on me. So I had to go get my, go get an air gauge for my tire for my car because the little 
light, the tire, low pressure tire light was on. So I had to go get it. I'm not a car person, so I had to go get a low. I had to get a low air pressure. I get an air pressure gauge, check my tires. I think it was just the spare tire that was low. But I went to do that. I went to Dollar Tree so I could get some stuff. I might as well show you guys since you're here. Sorry if I'm flashing anything. No, I'm on the dirty floor. Let's put these up here for now. Um, Did you eat? Did you eat? My room's a mess. It was clean the other day, but then I had to like look for something. So I got these from uh, from Dollar Tree, just like gift boxes for my for my gifts and whatnot. Oh, this is the same thing. This one is really cute. This is really cute. And these are really cute. I don't think any of my family or my fiance watches my stream, as, as catches my stream. So I'm not worried about them seeing them seeing this. This is pretty cute. Just little gift boxes. And then I got some uh, papers. I forgot that I'm like looking at the screen. I could do this one, but I feel like this one is I feel like this kind of bootleg. I don't, I, I, the camera's weird on that one. I'll stick with Nozomi. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm, after I eat, I'm going to, uh, after I eat, I'm going to wrap everything. And then I got a bunch of, uh, like all of this stuff has like other little gifts. I can't hear me. Like other little gifts for my family and stuff like that. Like just other stuff to like wrap that I like. Wait, this? This. There we go. I know I know Linda Granger knows what Biscoff get Biscoff is. I feel like you know I feel like you know what Biscoff is. This sauce is delicious. So I got that. Oh. I got this for my fiance. Um, and I got her other gift is behind me. And a bunch of other stuff. This for my, my dad likes these. Chicharrones. So I got a bunch of fun stuff. And then all these boxes that you probably can't see. Can you see? All these boxes here, those are all like my gifts. So I'm gonna go ahead and like, I'm gonna go ahead and get some food and then I'm gonna start wrapping those. Um, and I don't think anyone wants to see that. I would put it on, I would do it on live, but I think that'd be pretty boring. The microphone that I'm using, <laughs> where'd the cat go? I will. I have to do it at certain times because the cat can be that the cat can be moody. Um, the microphone I'm using is a Rode NT. It's the Rode NT USB Mini, and uh, it's very good. It's only it was only ninety nine bucks. It was only a hundred bucks, um, but I definitely needed a mic uh, to work really well. So so far I like it. I'm sure there's there's better ones out there, but this one works really well for my for my needs. And when I'm doing my tutorials and things, and I'm doing voiceovers, then I like to drop my voice a little bit and come a little closer to the microphone and try to really get that nice NPR bassy sound going. Um, this is more of the you know when I'm doing some sort of narration or when I'm doing voiceovers for uh, for my tutorials and things like that. So then I do this voice. But then when I talk normally too, when I'm a little further back, it sounds pretty good. Um, all right, guys, Linda Granger, um, Alice, ASMR. Oh, AS, oh, so you know, so you know all about mics, uh, Miss Alice. Um, but thank you, guys. I'm gonna get some food, 
and hopefully whoever is watching on Twitch can actually see my stream this time because last time it wasn't working. So I'm going to check that out on stream. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next uh, video. I'll probably do some art tonight or do something tonight. We'll see. Um, all right. See you guys. Namaste.